Okay, so the final pathway we have left is the lectin pathway. The lectin pathway is used when you don't use the alternative or the classic pathway. So assuming that you don't have an antibody that is already made or an endotoxin or LPS. Instead, there are some surface molecules on the bacteria called mannose groups or manans. These attract a circulatory protein that you have in your blood right now called manan binding protein or manan binding lectin. As this protein binds to the mannose groups or the manans on the bacteria, other proteins called mannose uh, binding lectin associating serine proteases will help to initiate the cleavage uh, uh, the cleaving of C4 so you can consider it to be very similar to C1 QRS parts once C4 has been cleaved into C4B and away part of C4A the second part will be C2 and you can see this will continue the same exact pathway as the classical. So I won't uh, tell you the rest of it. The lectin pathway is very, uh, has similarities to both alternative pathway and classical. To classical, as from C4 until the final common pathway, it's the same. And the connection to alternative pathway is that it does not require an antibody. Thank you.